Hey, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to draw this cute citrus illustration on Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. First, we'll be choosing the size. Normally, I'll go with the 1080 and 1080 pixels because I mostly post my work on Instagram and this is a very classic Instagram square size. I paste my sketch image here. You can find it in the description box. Just give the layer a name, dimmed opacity, and we can start drawing. Normally, my stroke weight is 3 point, but you can totally change it. It's just my style. Let's start with this big orange. Simply draw a circle and make sure you hold the space bar to place it where you want. Same with this eye here. Draw a small circle. Then duplicate it and drag it like this. Select both circles and go to the Shape Builder tool. Press Alt or Option and delete the part that you don't want. And now your eye is done. You can just, you know, give it a color like black. Now just duplicate it and your beautiful eyes are ready. For the mouth, I use a pen tool to draw a line. Then use the anchor point to turn it into a curve. Honestly, anchor point is my favorite tool. Like you can see I use it everywhere. Okay, these dots are easy. For the stem, you see me use the anchor point again. Draw a triangle. Hit Shift C and then play with the magic. Okay, for the leaf, let's do like this. Use the pen tool, click on one point and the other point and then the start point again. Then Shift C to turn on the anchor point tool and now you can make a beautiful leaf. For the flower, I actually made a tutorial before, but let's just make it again. Use a polygon tool and draw a hexagon. Go to Effect, Distort, Transform, and choose a pucker and bloat. Now you can change the bloat number to get your beautiful flower. Actually, the flower I sketch has only five petals, so I should not use a hexagon, I should use a pentagon instead. So you can press the up or down arrow keys to add or remove the size from your polygon. Let's do it again. Now you can just duplicate the flower, scale it, like move it to anywhere you want. So now before you move to the next part, what you can do is you can group everything and hide this orange. Go to Object, Hide, Selection or hit Command or Control 3. You can always bring it back and now you have more space to keep going. This lemon is cute, right? I love drawing cute things. Oh my god, it's like, you know, like playing with my kitty soul. One circle, one circle, one big lemon. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. Oh, here I'm using another tool. It's the Pathfinder. In this case, similar to the Shape Builder tool, I use it to unite the shapes. You remember how to draw the eye, right? Honestly, you can just copy the eyes from the orange. Let's just practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
so we're done with the lemon. Let's hide it. Okay, let's draw this citrus slice. I still don't know if this should be the lemon or orange. Just call it, you know, anything. <laughs> so you make a circle for the center, and then you make another one. Use a direct selection tool to drag one point like this, and then you're gonna rotate it. Then use a rotate tool. Choose a center point which is the center of the first circle. And then you're gonna rotate your segment. Then hit Command or Control D to multiply them. Yeah, we're pretty done. Let's go with the other slice. Here I use the Shape Builder tool again. Let's just copy the other segment here. I'm so lazy. <laughs> now it's time to take care of the small stuff. Oh, this star is interesting. So you draw a perfect square, turn it into a circle and then change the corner over there and here we go so for this illustration I want to use something fresh and vibrant for it and that's why I choose this color scheme honestly I don't have a lot of tips on colors I browse a lot of color palettes on internet, on Pinterest, you know, on anywhere I can find inspiration. And then I use eyedropper tools, you know, to steal colors. <laughs> but you can definitely adjust the palettes during the way. For example, you see this green is too dark or you want to change the brightness, go for it. This is optional, but you can add a little bit texture to this illustration. Use a roughen tool here. But I think it still looks great without it, if you like something minimal and simple like me. And it's done. Thank you so much for still staying here with me. This is my very first time making a tutorial with voice, so I'm pretty nervous. So if you don't understand anything, please drop me a comment. And if you like my video, please subscribe me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you again and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.